Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 381. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Magic Trick 381 to 386. Hey, in this trick here, we have customer list here and here. This list has some elements that are in this list. This item, this customer name, is not in this list, and this one is not in this list, and we need to merge these two. Well, we're going to just do a simple uh, copy paste and then two different methods advanced filter and remove duplicates. Now, I'm going to click in the top cell in the first list and use Control Shift Down Arrow. That assumes there's no blanks. That highlights all the way down, then I Control C. Rip scroll up and I'm going to click right here and control V. Now I'm going to do the same trick here. I'm going to click in the top cell, control shift down arrow and then copy. And then I'm going to paste it right at the bottom of this other list. So now all we've done, if I click here and control up arrow, that just jumps without highlighting. What we've done is we, now we just have a list with all of the names. Now it's pretty uh, straightforward. I'm going to go up to data uh, advanced filter right here, click on it, the keyboard shortcut, whoops, come back over here, the keyboard shortcut in this version is Alt-A-Q, Alt-A-Q, I use advanced filter a lot, so I know that keyboard shortcut. Now I've already done this one time, so it remembers, it thinks it knows where the list is, and it's not correct, so I'm going to click in the top, and you got to have uh, we're going to use advanced filter unique records. You got to have a field name because if you don't, you sometimes can have one record off. Uh, uh, you can get a mistake. I'm going to click on the top control shift down arrow. We have our list range. We want to copy it to another location. We don't have any criteria because we're going to use unique records only. Now, click in copy to. Click right there and then click OK. That just like that using advanced filter. Now we have our list, which does include uh, the item in the first list that was not in the second list. The duplicate only listed once. And then if we scroll down, we can see uh, uh, Clint is also listed uh, only one, or well, it was only in the second list. So we got it. So that is one way. Here's another way. I'm just going to highlight this whole list. This is the list with both uh, complete uh, original lists. I'm going to actually use the keyboard shortcut Control Asterisk because that, if you Control Shift down, or you see how it puts the screen down, and then you have to scroll back up. Uh, another way, if you have blanks everywhere, you can just hit Control Asterisk on the number pad and it highlights it, and then you can simply uh, copy. Now I'm going to do point to the edge and right click to copy and drag it over here. And when I let go of the right click, it this uh, drop down uh, gives me some options, and I'm going to say copy here as values. Come up here and double click this. I'm going to Control B so that I have a field name at the top that is different than, uh, that's formatted differently. Now I'm going to use the uh, remove duplicates. I'm going to control asterisk to highlight the whole table. I'm going to go up to data, remove duplicates. This is in 2007 and 10. And then it says, where do you want me? We only have one uh, field here, so customers, and then I click OK. 54 duplicates. Uh, values found and remove 99 uh, unique values. Now this can be dangerous because it does remove everything. Uh, so if you have, uh, my advice would be to do what we did and copy and paste the list together instead of, uh, and then we have our original data over here. Now, uh, but anyway, so there you go. Uh, remove duplicates, advanced filter, how to merge two lists. When we had duplicates, the duplicates in the yellow, some unique values in the first list, some unique values in the second list. All right, we'll see you next trick.